Hello everybody, welcome to the Cyberlink channel. Today, we're going to be discussing on how to get Sonic Unleashed running on a desktop PC. Now, during this 30th anniversary of Sonic whole fiasco, there's been talk about why is Sonic Unleashed not on Steam. Well, instead of waiting for Sonic Unleashed to be on Steam, you could have just had Sonic Unleashed by now, and it's very simple what you need to do. First things first, you need to have the good specs for it. So, we are going to go over here. So this here is my spec sheet. As you can see, that's pretty okay. Now, what you're going to need are a couple things. First, you're going to want to have a game controller. It can be anything from a PC controller, a PS4 controller, 360 or 1 controller, like this one over here. You just need a game controller, or if you want, you can use like a Bluetooth Wii adapter or something like that, or GameCube adapter, something like that. Second, you need to cop grab a copy of the ISO of Sonic Unleashed. So if we go here to Wii games, we have Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. Now I know what you're all think is like Sonic Unleashed for the Wii, but whatever. It's easier to get this to run with the Wii version than the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator I mean plus this will also run on slightly older machines weaker GPUs and stuff but in my case my Radeon can run this at 1080 so then you need to grab a copy of Dolphin emulator so we have Dolphin right here now as you can see I already have Sonic Unleashed preloaded but all you gotta do is just like click open Documents, Wii Games, and Sonic Unleashed, and then you click on it, and it will create a slot for Sonic Unleashed. Next thing you want to do is go to Controllers, and as you can see, we're going to go to the Wii Remote, Configure, then use the Classic Controller. Click this extension here. Don't change anything here, because you're not going to use anything. Then go to Extension. This will how you calibrate Classic Controller buttons. For example, this one calls for A button. I'm going to configure it for the B button. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the B button. And there you go. It's configured as that. So my button configuration, as you can see, this here is to jump. This here is to is A. This is to boost. And this is to drift. So other than that, it's pretty standard. So once you have configured it, just close out of it. You don't need to save anything. Profiles are for something else. Then just close all of it. Then you want to go to graphics. Now, whatever you use, just click whatever. Enhancements, however, if your graphics card can support it, you might want to go to 720p or 1080p. For So I'm going to go with 1080. And then you'll just want to do whatever you want to do to the Wii game. So if your graphics card is not powerful at all, just go to native, but if you can run it, 720 or 1080, or if you have something uh, like a more powerful monitor, um, mine's 1080, not 1440, you could have it at 1440, 4K, or if you have a 5K monitor, use that, but I'm just going to stick to 1080, and close. Also, you might want to do one more thing, is if you want... Like somewhere around here is where you can like sharpen the pi picture, but anyway. Then what you want to do is start up the game. And to make it feel like a full PC game, just simply go to full screen. You might want to hide this mouse cursor. Very simple. And there we go. So the game's working. And just to show proof.
So I've already been playing this for a while. So let's just gonna go to something here. And just play a classic stage from Sonic Generation. So I this is at 1080p with enhancements and all that. And this runs smoothly at 30 FPS. Now you can configure this for your keyboard too if you like to use that instead, but for me personally I like to use an Xbox controller. I also prefer the Wii version because this game is a little more easier and the Werehog stages are a lot more bearable, at least for me. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe, like, and comment, and see you guys next time in the next video.